Well, hey guys, welcome back to Hey, It's a Good Life. I'm so glad you're here. Got a little garden helper with me here today. Hi, Bear. Of course, they like to lay right where things are starting to sprout. I've got Chinese long noodle beans or something growing back there. Chinese mosaic beans growing back there that have just started to sprout. And of course, they wanna lay right there, my little turkeys. So, it's summer. Summer in the garden is a wonderful time. But truth be told, I'm feeling a little somber and a little scared. I'm scared because Juniper is changing shape and I don't know if she's gonna make it. Remember the little monarch from yesterday? And maybe this is me just having a moment because last year a lot of our monarchs got attacked by tachinid flies, which is a type of parasite that you don't know they have it until they go into chrysalis form and it's really, it just sucks. She just, I don't know, she just doesn't look right. She looks like too straight. She looks like a little skinny in the stomach and she reminds me of some of the caterpillars that we tried to launch last year. Really, really sad, eaten from the inside out. And I'm just really hoping and praying that that is not the case for my little juniper. So. Send all the healing vibes this way, you guys. I really want our first monarch to make it, and I'm just feeling a little nervous, so. But, yeah, we'll see. I'm just really wondering, like, what can we do? What needs to change, if anything? So, anyway, keep you guys posted tomorrow. Hopefully she makes it to chrysalis form, and obviously, hopefully she turns into a butterfly. We'll see. On a brighter note, thank you so much to those of you guys who submitted names. We had so many wonderful names submitted from Jazz, from Jim and Jessica over at Green Dream Project, to Whisper from my friend Danny, from Gail, one of the truest fans who's been here for a long time. Gail wrote, from the ancient SNL back when it was funny, Pat. Grace Junction wrote in saying, my daughter say Susie, Rosie, or Daisy. I like Juniper. Robert wrote in saying, beauty or angel. Janie Miller writes, Flutterby. Cynthia Fisher writes, Willow. I love Willow. I really, really love that name. Or Jasper for a boy. Great name, super old school, I love it. Let's see, oh, Sunset would be a great name. A lot of you guys enjoyed seeing that sunset and I hope to show it again tonight. And welcome to Chickenlandia writes, chicken. <laughs> Thank you so much if you submitted a name. I really enjoyed reading through those. I am making a list of names for caterpillars as we hope to launch many, many, many caterpillars this summer. On that note, I wanna share with you guys an exercise. This is called tapping it in. Now this, this beautiful view through the trees is one of my absolute favorite views. And to me, it symbolizes refreshment. While I was completing my EMDR training up in San Francisco a few weeks ago, I learned about a new technique called tapping it in. And essentially what tapping it in does is it allows you to input into your nervous system for better recall, pleasurable, wonderful, nice memories that you would like to remember. I selected the light through the trees and I chose the word refreshment. Now you could do this with just about anything. You could do like um, water and pair it with the word peace or sunset and pair it with the word tranquil or joy. It's really up to you how you want to take this exercise on, but the idea is simple. You take a place that you like to be an experience and pair that with a word and then we're going to tap that in. Now let me show you what that looks like. Now speaking of butterflies, this is what we call a butterfly hug in my world as an EMDR therapist. Right here, this is a butterfly hug. And it's one of the ways that we do bilateral stimulation or tapping to activate the nervous system and activate a healing response. Of course, use at your own discretion. Don't do anything I share with you here on this channel without talking to your doctor or therapist first. It's up to you as a viewer to use your own discretion. So let's talk about tapping in a pleasurable experience. For me, I chose trees with light coming through and the word refreshment. So as I hold that in my mind, and I think about the light funneling through the trees, and I think about that word refreshment, I'm going to hold those words in my mind and start to tap. You can see I went very slow, and I went for a count of eight. And that's exactly what you can do with just about any experience that you would like to have better recall with. 
the key is to hold these things in your mind, put the experience with a word that you would like to experience more of, and tap that in nice and slow. Now it's your turn. While you guys practice that, I'll roll this montage of my scene and I'll count you through this exercise. I'd love for you to draw that place to mind and pair it with a word that you'd like to experience more. Holding those two things in your mind, I'd like for you to give yourself a butterfly hug and tap to my count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take a deep breath. What do you notice? Hopefully you guys are feeling nice and relaxed after that. It's one of my favorite exercises and I wanted to be able to share that with you guys as well. In other news, we've packaged more of the dirt for Holloway. This pile of dirt is slowly but surely decreasing in size. I've managed to get rid of all of the bags that were lining this fence over here, so yay. And the garden is growing so quickly right before our eyes. Let me give you a little update. Stop. <laughs> Bear, get out, get out. Luckily, the cats do not use the garden beds as a bathroom, but they do walk through them, which drives me absolutely crazy. And Oliver likes to try to eat the corn. So there's that. But no, a lot of you guys ask, do they use the beds as a bathroom? They do not, luckily. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I really need to thin this butternut squash because it's kind of getting out of control and it's, it is going to, wow. It's getting really big really fast and uh, I'm going to need to th thin this so it has room to grow. In other news, we have watermelon practically totally taking over this bed. The squash is out of control. If you want to feel like a good gardener, just plant some squash. It's huge, it grows quickly, it's beautiful. I love it. I'm even starting to see some blossoms. And this corn is gonna be so tall. Like it's gonna be so obnoxiously tall. Check out this rampicante zucchini. The leaves are so big. Oh wow, for a second I thought I saw a bug eat my zucchini and I was like, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Um, another thing that's growing exponentially around here is the San Marzano tomatoes from Hardneck Farms. Check these out. Wendy, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, <laughs> this zucchini, zucchini nimba is also really out of control. Also, we've got some fava beans and degrage peas popping up. Things are growing slowly but surely around here. Hopefully, 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 Juniper makes it. Anyway, what can you do? I named her, I'm attached to her, and I really hope she makes it. Here's to hoping for the best. Thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I will be sure to keep you updated on the Monarchs and, and let me know how that tapping it in exercise goes for you. I'd love to know how it is. I really hope it blesses you. It's one of my favorite exercises, so let me know how it goes for you guys in the comments down below. Thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. I'll see you in the next one.